Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a what's in my work bag video. This has been pretty requested and I said I would do it since I started working this job. So now that we're kind of ending or nearing the end of my internship, I figured I would finally show you. So if you guys are new here, I'm in law school, my second year of law school, but I'm also an intern. So I work two days a week at a law office. I can't give many details as to what I do, but I do criminal law. And I recently just got a new work bag and I used to use the Tory Burch Gemini Link Tote. This is the new bag that I'm using and it is the Kate Spade Hadley Road bag, I believe, but I will have it linked below. This is in the largest size. It comes in two sizes, but this one is the 13.5 inch one, so it can fit a MacBook. I have the 13.5 inch MacBook and it fits perfectly in here, but I don't actually put my uh, computer in here. I'm just saying for reference a lot of people always ask about whether or not their computer can fit So if it's 13.5 inches or below it will fit But this is the bag What I really like about this bag and pretty much the reason I was sold on it was the inside is leopard print And of course I'm wearing leopard, but I usually like don't but I do love leopard print and the inside is just so cute and this little inside pouch that separates the two sides actually comes out so you can use it as a clutch. Just before I get started, I wanna show you what used to be my work bag because I still do love this and I get questions about it a lot. So this is the Tory Burch Gemini Link Tote. They don't sell it anymore. I think what they're doing is just redesigning it and restructuring it. So I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I know I have been having a really hard time finding it recently online, so I'll try to find it down below. But what I really like about the bag, and it's not even the bag, is this organizer that I got on Amazon, and I'll have it linked below, and it's just a, um, what is this called? It's not velvet, it's like felt almost, a felt organizer, so it has so many different pockets, and I love that about this, which will fit in this tote bag, it'll fit in a Louis Vuitton Neverfull, Michael Kors bags, it'll fit in pretty much anything, and they sell them in different sizes, but... I got mine in pink because I just like the color pink, but I really like the pockets because I can put things in the pockets, obviously, and not have all my stuff floating around because if I didn't use that in this kind of bag, it would all just be so disorganized and I really hate that. So with any kind of tote bag, I will use an organizer like this and it kind of also just gives the bag some shape. So now getting into what's in my current bag, I'm going to start with the really big stuff. So first I have this notebook. I have been using this notebook since college. I don't rebuy school supplies because I very rarely will finish a notebook. So I just kind of get rid of the old pages. I use this in con law my first year of law school and now I just use it kind of as a catch-all for taking notes on anything that I need to. Then I also have my iPad Pro. This is the 13.5 inch. I think this is the largest iPad that they offer and it is the new one. I love this so much. It is so useful for taking notes. I'll unlock it and show you. I've been studying for the MPRE, which I'm actually taking next weekend. Uh, and the MPRE is like the professional responsibility part of the bar exam. It's not part of the bar exam, but you have to take it if you want to uh, be admitted to the bar. So I've been taking notes on here and I just love this. It's so thin and little and I pretty much only bring this to work with me on Wednesday because I have class Wednesday nights and this is what I used to take notes in that class. So I bring it with me Wednesdays, but I don't bring it Monday because I, first of all, don't have Wi-Fi at work. So if I was on my lunch break, I would just use my phone to like go on YouTube or something like that. I only will bring it with me to work if I have a homework assignment I need to do that day and I want to do it on my lunch break because I can use Word or any of the note taking apps to type on here and it's just like a computer. So I really like this. And going along with that in that little center pocket I have my Apple Pencil which I think even if you buy a regular iPad the new iPads are compatible with Apple Pencils. This is what makes the iPad Pro so worth it because it's like writing in a notebook but everything is on the iPad so you don't have to worry about carrying all these papers around. It's just so convenient and it makes me actually want to take notes. I wouldn't even recommend necessarily buying the iPad Pro. Just buy an iPad that's compatible with an Apple Pencil and it's really, really useful. And I will eventually do a video on how I take notes on the iPad for school but I'm still kind of figuring it out. 
Anyways, I have another big item. I have my MPRE prep book. Now, I don't take this with me like every day. It just so happened to be in my bag because I bought it with me yesterday to school. It's just Barbary MPRE prep. There's nothing to say about it. It's pretty heavy though, so I'm not going to carry it around in there because I don't like to put too much weight on the straps of bags. I'm always concerned that they're going to break. So have my Barbary book. I won't be carrying that around anymore after next week, thank God. Not that I've really studied that much. Oops. Then I have my planner. I have switched back to this planner, which is from Amazon. It's by Daily Bloom. I'll link it below. It's only $12. I have a day designer also, but I kind of have been liking using this planner because it's the week on two page and it's just so much easier to write. And I honestly like don't have that many things to write where the day designer is just so big and bulky it probably weighs like three pounds and it's just unnecessary and it takes up way too much room then i have my wallet which is just the louis vuitton um i think it's called the key clay or the card holder but it's just this little card holder and then I also have a keychain on here from L&M, which is just like an Instagram store, but she also has a website and it's just supposed to be like an old hotel keychain. And I just think it's really cute. It makes a lot of noise though. I have my keys for my car, which whatever. And this bag, it is separated, but the bottom isn't connected. So stuff can slide back and forth. It's not like two completely separate pockets if you are wondering so then on the other side i have my louis vuitton toiletry pouch and i think this is the size 19 and it fits a lot of stuff so we'll go through what's in here i have my foundation powder i always carry this i've had this for years i should probably throw it away because it's really old but i just keep it with me if i have to touch up my makeup i have some gas x i have my airpods in here i pretty much keep all my little items in here so that when i switch from this bag to my backpack or to like a different purse for the weekend if i wanted to use like my pochette mati all i have to do is put this in like my wallet i don't have to switch all my crap into like three different bags i can just put this one thing so i keep my airpods in there and i have a little case on them and it's uh, like baby pink. It's not showing up on the viewfinder. It looks white, but it's a light pink color. I'll link it below. It's really cute. I have my Mario Badescu spray because the air in the office I work at is so dry. I feel like the second I get to work, my face, like my makeup just looks awful. So I spray this on my face like four times a day. I have hand lotion from Bath and Body Works, stress relief. Then I have a million makeup products. I have a Too Faced lipstick in Strip Search. I have a YSL lipstick in shade 44. And I just think the packaging on this is so cute, which is pretty much why I bought it. I have some Tylenol. I have eye drops for my contacts if I happen to wear my contacts. I have a Buxom lip gloss in White Russian. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss it's the perfect nude shade then i have a chapstick i have a kylie uh, liquid lipstick in coco k i have a pen that actually emily gemma from the sweetest thing blog she sent me this she sent me this care package last year because i just tweeted her something like oh i love your blog something along those lines and she sent me this care package of all this stuff that I still use to this day. And this pen was one of them. So I love to use this pen because it reminds me of her. And I love her. And I can't believe she sent me this package just for like being a nice person. Then I have a lip liner from Essence in Lost in Love. Then I have a scent bird. And I think, what smell is this? This is Burberry Brit. I love this smell and scent birds are just so convenient because they're so small and you don't have to worry about them leaking or spraying in your bag and it's not like a body spray where they take up a lot of room. It just is really tiny and fits my bag perfectly. Then I have a dollar. I have some garbage and I have, oh good, this is open. That's really good. I have this Summer's Eve, it's like a, a feminine wipe, but it's open so... 
And then I always have snacks in my bag. This is just some almonds. I have a fiber one brownie. But when I actually go to work, I will take a reusable bag like Lululemon or just like a little tote bag to put my lunch and my food and my shoes in because I walk to work from where I park my car because I work in the city. So I park my car in a lot and then I walk to work and I do not want to walk five blocks or so in heels because my feet will kill me so I just wear sneakers or uh, espadrilles or something comfortable and I keep my heels in a little tote bag. I always have gloves with me although I can probably get rid of them now because I don't think it's going to be that cold anymore but I always have gloves in my bag. Then I have this Victoria's Secret change purse which I got in like middle school and I remember I was so happy to get this because the inside is like has like those candy hearts I just thought this was so cute but I carry it because it's my fake decoy wallet so if god forbid I ever got mugged or something like that and they're just like give me your wallet as opposed to like give me your bag I could just throw this wallet at them be like here take my wallet and it has like a few dollars in there it has change it has like old cards and I could just be like okay here there's my wallet and like run away and not have to actually throw my real wallet with my IDs. It's not even so worrisome that someone would steal my like credit card or debit card because I would just call my bank and cancel them but if someone had my ID like my school ID my health insurance card my license like that would just be very annoying to have to replace all of those things. So I have some receipts of course. I have a TD Bank pen. If you guys have been watching me since last year when I started law school, you know. TD Bank pens are my favorite pens. They make my handwriting look so nice. And they're my favorite pens to write with. And I always have TD Bank pens because they always give them out. I'm not even a TD Bank member. I use Wells Fargo. But Wells Fargo doesn't have pens. Then in this center pocket, which is actually detachable, I've never taken it out. So let's take it out. So you could just use this as a um, like a going out bag, just a little pouch. This is a lot of leopard happening. But in here, I have, as I said, my Apple Pencil. I have a highlighter, another pen, and this is from Like to Know It, which is what I use on my Instagram. And my affiliate links are via Like to Know It, so I just have one of their pens, and it's really cute. I have more receipts. I have the tag for this bag. Then I have my ID for work and I'll try to cover up all the identifiable information which is everything. That's my ID picture. It's really bad because I got it done the day before I got my wisdom teeth taken out so my face was really swollen and I just don't look good. I just don't look good. And that's everything I keep in here. And I want to see if this will fit in here because that would be nice. Cool. So that pink organizer actually fits in here. So if I wanted to, I could use that in here. But I really need to clean it. It's like covered in this like stuff. That's like why, why would you make it out of felt? Because felt is very hard to clean. That's my one issue with that. And there's also a side pocket here. So there's an open side pocket and a zip pocket. So I have a pack of gum. And I don't think I have anything in the zip pocket. I have this care manual that came with the bag. So that's everything I keep in this bag. Now this bag was $350. There's two things you can do. If you're a student, you can sign up for My Uni Days, which is like just gives you all different student discounts. And even if you're in law school or grad school, you can still sign up because you have an at edu email address. So I always use Uni Days for like everything I buy online. But also if you go on katespade.com, you can sign up for emails and get 15% off. So I ended up paying, I think, $300 total, including tax for this bag and I also use Shop Runner for shipping and you get Shop Runner free if you're an Amex card holder and I think there's some other ways you can get it for free and they also do free trials but Shop Runner is basically like Amazon Prime for all websites not all websites participate but Kate Spade does so I got free two-day shipping I ordered this Tuesday at like 11 o'clock at night I feel like and I got it Friday that's it
that's how I got this bag and this is my new work bag and I really really like it but that's everything I keep in this bag I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment down below of any other sit down videos you want me to do or film so I hope you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you again in the next video bye